Hey everybody, Gavin Schneider here at SmartPad Property Management. Today we're gonna to be talking to you about the six different kinds of inspections that we do on our rental properties. And we're just gonna jump right in here. So uh, the first kind of inspection is a move in and move out inspection, pretty self-explanatory, but when a tenant is moving into a property or moving out of a property, in order to take a security deposit, we have to conduct a physical inspection and that inspection has to include a written report. Now, the way we do our reporting is they're very picture and video driven. We are required to have that written report. It has very limited notes on it, but then it's supplemented with a whole bunch of pictures because those pictures speak a thousand times louder than, than any words on paper could. So, you know, we're going through everything with a tenant. Each of the bedrooms, the bathroom, the kitchen, taking pictures of the appliances, the roof, the gutters, the exterior, outbuildings, the fencing, the driveway, the mailbox, you name it, we're, we're taking pictures of it. And then when they move out, we're comparing the condition of the property from the beginning to, to the end. And what that allows us to do is if there's been damage to the property outside of normal wear and tear, which is a very difficult thing to define, um, we're able to, to, to subtract those damages from their security deposit. Okay, second kind of inspection that we're conducting is a monthly drive-by inspection of the home. And it simply entails us uh, sending out a team member to drive by, they take a photo of the outside, and then include some notes with the photo. The grass looks great, the gutters are looking a little full, and you know the broken down car they had on the driveway has been removed. Then that report gets sent to you um, directly afterwards. And if there's any actionable items in there, obviously then we're following up with those items. Get them, getting them to mow the lawn or remove uh, their garbage cans from the sidewalk or whatever it is. Third type, third type of uh, inspection that we're conducting uh, is a interior inspection every six months of the property. And this is a little bit of a touchy subject because uh, a lot of times owners want to inspect the interior more often and tenants of course don't want us to inspect the interior at all. So we're a little bit at odds there. The, the key to know is that the Washington landlord tenant law grants tenants the right to quiet enjoyment. Now, the definition of that does not include any specific amount of interior inspections. However, a lot of people would agree that um, unnecessarily inspecting the inside of someone's living quarters um, more than every six months is probably violating their right to quiet enjoyment. So that's how often we do it is, is once every six months. And similar to the move in, move out report, we're taking some photos, taking, taking some notes, getting the tenants to you know, clean up any uh, actionable issues that need to be cleaned up, and then we're all moving forward from there. Uh, the next kind of inspection that we're conducting is a renewal inspection. So say your tenants are looking to renew their lease, that automatically prompts an inspection as well. Uh, fifth type is a maintenance inspection. So anytime that we send a maintenance person to the home, whether it's uh, a handyman or a furnace, you know, HVAC technician or whoever it is, we're following up with them to find out, you know, how many uh, dogs did you notice were in the home? There's not supposed to be any, so I hope, I hope, you know, they there weren't any. Um, how clean was the property? What did the grass look like? Um, did it smell like smoke or anything like that on the inside? So we're kind of using those maintenance um, uh, calls as soft inspections as well and we get a lot of valuable feedback from from those technicians and then the sixth kind is what we would call a just cause inspection and so that's if we have a reason to conduct an inspection such as uh, during one one of the monthly drive-bys we saw two dogs in the backyard and they're supposed to have one dog well that provides us just cause to perform another interior inspection to ensure that they are you know adhering to the lease or any other number of just cause reasons, right? Um, you drive by and see them smoking on the inside of the house through a window. That's just cause then to inspect the interior of the property. Um, again, all these reports have uh, photos and notes attached to them. They're all uploaded to your owner's portal so that you can view them as well. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to let us know.